Hi, my name's Joe. I'm the singer-songwriter for Winter Mountain. There was a lot of music in my uh, parents' households when I was growing up. So I remember connecting with certain records that they loved from a very young age. Stuff like the Beatles and the Police were always on rotation. And um, I remember those songs very vividly from, from when I was very young. Uh, it took me till I was about eight years old before I made uh, the connection and realised that I could do this. I could be in a band. I could play an instrument and uh, I asked my dad for a drum kit which he bought me on my 10th birthday. Well, I'm a working musician and songwriter so I tour a lot around the UK, around Ireland and across Europe and the rest of the world actually. Um, I've signed record deals, I've played uh, hundreds of festivals over the years and uh, recorded a lot of albums of original music, which is probably my favorite part of it all. A lot of the opportunities in the live arena have dried up. So instead of performing live, I've been focused on uh, my own creativity. I've been writing an awful lot of songs and uh, I'm making a new record and having a great time doing it. I'm a folk and Americana country singer and uh, to get an idea of what I do you could check out records by Bob Dylan, Bruce Springsteen, Neil Young, uh, Joan Baez and Joni Mitchell and there's many 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 fantastic others out there. The genres that I work in encompass a whole load of emotions and stories but if I was to generalize I would say that uh, folk music, country music, Americana, it's music of the people and it's music about people and their lives and, and their stories and their experiences. So um, they can be very reflective and introspective, but they can also be full of hope uh, for the future. The latest project I'm working on is the new album that I've been writing and recording throughout lockdown. Um, I cover a great many themes within the songs of the record. Uh, I've written some love songs, I've written some songs about tragedy, and I've also written some really fun party songs. So it's going to cover a whole load of different genres and quite an eclectic range of emotions. So one of my favourite stories is the legend of Giant Bolster and Giant Bolster used to terrorise the villagers, uh, throw, throw, st throw stones down on the streets uh, and eat their bones, eat their flesh, uh, eat the sheep and um, all these soldiers and knights came from miles around to try and stop him and no one had any luck and the villagers despaired, they didn't know what to do. But one day, uh, on a summer's day, Bolster is chilling out in a field and along comes this beautiful girl and her name is Agnes. Uh, and Bolster instantly falls in love with her on the spot. Love at first sight. And he tells Agnes, I want to marry you. You're the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. And obviously, she doesn't want to be in this position and she's terrified, but she's pretty quick, is Agnes. And so she thinks to herself, maybe there's a way I can get out of this. And so she says to the giant, how's about you prove your love to me? I've got a task for you to prove to me that you love me as much as you say you do. And the giant says, name it. I'll do anything you want me to do. So she takes him up onto the edge of a cliff and she shows him a little hole on the edge of the cliff and she says, if you can fill that hole with your blood, then I'll know that you love me as much as you say you do and I promise to marry you. He looks at the hole, he sees how small it is. He cuts his wrist and he starts to fill it. 
He thinks to himself, I could fill this hole easily with my blood. But the trouble is, time's passing and blood is spilling from the wound, but this hole just isn't filling. And it turns out that it's actually a mine shaft that runs down through the cliff and out into the sea. And eventually, all the blood drains from Bolster and he dies. And the villagers celebrate and they're so proud of Agnes and so pleased with her for killing the giant that they decide to name the village after Agnes, which is where we take the name St. Agnes from, the little seaside village on the north coast of Cornwall, where I'm from. Here's the challenge. I'd like you to write me a song all about how you think Agnes felt after the giant died and all the villagers started celebrating and the village was named after her. Do you think she was happy? Do you think she was ecstatic with the outcome? Uh, or maybe do you think she was sad and felt a bit guilty? This is the great thing about songs. Um, you can interpret things however you want, tell stories in the way that you want to tell them. And I think it'll be really interesting to hear what you think about how Agnes felt after the giant died. In order to write the lyrics for this song, start off by deciding the mood you wish to write about. How do you think Agnes felt after the giant died? If you think Agnes was happy and wanting to celebrate and party, or if you think she was sad and wanted to spend some time alone and process some guilt, either way, start by writing all the words associated with that mood that you can think of. Once you've got all the words down, turn those words into sentences and then try and make a few of the last words of those sentences rhyme, almost as though you're building up a poem. That'll be a good place to start for the lyrics for your song. Once you've written your lyrics, Make sure you put your name on it before sending it to your teacher. They'll then add that to a shared document, which you'll have access to later. Sweet river, until the 